Hey guys, this is a Canon MG2520 Vexma printer um, that I just wanted to show how to get inside of a printer uh, in order for you to get better access to some paper that may be stuck in there or an object that could have fallen in here. Um, so, as you know, the access point that is just simply accessible is from here and you can access as much as you can but in order to clean for example a uh, inside of a printer or that timing strip that's in the back of the carriage unit um, you would need to open the top portion and that's actually on this printer is pretty simple to do you have the tray here um, so what you're going to need is for a Canon printer you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and we have uh, screws right here so there's one here and one there so first thing we're going to need, need to do is remove this tray so you just kind of pull it back like this here so you, so you pull it back and then pull it up and kind of the same thing here um, and uh, now we have access to these two screws right here this one and this one And then uh, you can lift this side up a little bit and then you're just going to push up front like that on this side and then you have the top portion free to go. Do not pull on it right away because it's connected to uh, like the top portion connected to the bottom because we have a control panel here and um, a scanner unit. And as you can see if we lift this right side up can see that everything is connected over there in the back to the main board so what you can do is just lift the right side up and we actually have this cord already disconnected because we pulled on it so just be careful when you do put it back down when you're putting everything together it's not that not that simple I'd say but you can connect this wire like this here like at this angle you would be able to connect everything and then close it back down so in our case let's just disconnect it just disconnect this going to the control panel okay so just these two here that we need to disconnect uh, from the main board And that gives you the option to get inside of a printer, um, clean whatever you have to clean. If there's ink, uh, gunk buildup right here, you can clean that. In order to, um, if your carrier unit is smashing back and forth, definitely there's a problem with this timing strip, the film right here that you see. Um, you can clean that without taking it off, just gently, don't pull on it too hard, it's very fragile. Um, you can just clean it with some warm water and make sure you wipe it dry. And uh, if it's smashing back and forth, most likely it is ripped on one of the ends. Um, usually this one. You're able to tape it down. As long as you don't put any tape on, on the dark tinted area, you should be fine. If it's ripped on this side, you should be able to repair that. This is the main board that we have here. Um, pretty simple. Does the job makes great prints as long as you have good ink um, if you have anything stuck in here or you need to clean the rollers you need to, you can just do that from here uh, we have better access cleaning those rollers so you don't have any paper pickup issues making sure all these plastics are in place usually there's not a problem with those but um, that's the thing here okay so this is a better view of the rollers that I was talking about these are the main pickup rollers uh, make sure the this um the spring is in place when you can spring back and forth like that um and basically that gives you the ability to just clean it reinsert the uh those connections in here and just put it back Let's see here 
Let's try doing that. Um, so we could just connect this wire here. So we'll start like this here. We'll connect this one with um, the golden contacts facing the metal connections here. So it's facing left. And do that. This one is the uh, narrow wire is a little more um, uh, easier to get to to connect. It's a little longer. Sorry. Okay, that's better. So we have this here. Trying to connect it like this. It's a much better position for me to work at. <laughs> and then as we close this down. I'm going to connect this wire. Position this. Lift the top, the back area a little bit, just slightly, so you don't disconnect any cords. Same here, just push it in there and clip this area. Make sure that's also clipped in. There we go. So it's all flush in here and put the screws back on. So putting it back together is more challenging. Um, sometimes it disconnects while you try, or you're trying to put the top back on. So in my case, in order to check or in any case to check if you've connected everything to make sure that these lights are working and that the scanner is moving back and forth um, so. so in our case that's uh it's pretty much set and done then you have to make sure to put the tray back and like pop it in there like so and you should be good to go so let's keep going um i'm just going to continue and remove everything on the printer so again tray removes like this here that was kind of a video of sh showing how to uh, just get access to get inside the printer but in order to take some other parts off of here um this just comes out like like so this top portion um then we already have the screws removed pushing it back gently pulling it back and disconnecting the two wires like we did so this main one and the little one the control panel and while we're here um there's a i wonder i think it's glued on here so it's a bit hard to get to the scanner unit usually on these uh budget printers that's how it's going to be so if you really need to replace the scanner um this portion here here may even be sometimes like clipped in but i'm not seeing any clips even so let's see here let's try removing this control panel side so this one just unclips like that oh so that's how we get to the to the scanner so it is not that hard so we have a control panel here just unclips over here so make sure you put all these back when you're done with replacing it and control panel just unscrews disconnects just two screws Connects here, 
and we have that out. And then for the for the scanner unit, there's two screws. Everything is Phillips on Canon. And let's see if we can just easily get to it. So we have those two removed. There we go, and you just slide it to the left, and it pops off. And now we have access to the scanner unit. You can disconnect it right here if you're replacing it, or just keep going. And removing this is kind of taped in, so it's a bit hard. You need to first untape it, then push it out, and take it here, there, avoid any damage. By pulling too hard, Get that out. That's it. Scanner unit right there. Keep going with the rest of the printer. So we have this timing strip right here that I was talking about. It's connected on this left side. You just push it to the left, and it should just come out. Push it and. Kind of pull it towards you on clips right here. It's a timing strip. Main board, you just need to disconnect everything that's connected here if you're replacing that. Okay. Just has two screws, I believe, as well. Make sure you take the screws out right away. See if that gets it, and then so on the um, on the main board, you do need to remove the screw right here fully in order to just slide the, the, control, um, the board out. So this is the main board, pretty small, but it does the job. Pretty cool and amazing how it works. Well, we put the printer over here. We have the uh, main board, uh, main tray right here. You're just gonna push it down a little bit and push to one side and pull it out like that. So that's the main tray. And when we go to the back here, we have the power supply unit, which is, which is pretty simple to get to. So to replace it, you don't even need any tools, as long as you can press this clip right here. So you're just gonna press it down. You can use a flathead screwdriver or just a finger, and then pulls out like that here, disconnects right here, and you're ready to go. So that's the power supply unit here. Thank you guys for watching. This is what we have. Um, good luck with your project and your repair. If this was entertaining, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment below, and we're going to answer any questions that we might have answers to. Anyway, thank you for your support and have a wonderful day.